Hey guys, I want to make a short video here talking about the recent tragedy and what they're doing to us as gun owners and NRA members uh, vilifying us for something that was nothing we could stop. Unfortunately, we all know 99% of these things happen in a gun-free zone. Uh, I've been just watching the news, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, you guys are doing great videos out there getting getting a response back to these people and I really appreciate all, every one of them. I think it's really great what you guys are doing. I just wanted to, I think probably a lot of you have seen this, but this reporter came out of retirement and uh, he wrote an article and I'll just take a couple of excerpts out of that what he wants to do. And this is from the peaceful left. He wants to repeal the Second Amendment, make gun ownership, and then he's got in parentheses, even for those pesky hunters, the politicians are always catering to a heavily, a heavily regulated privilege. Say what they're saying now is they're trying to turn it around to be a privilege, not a right. Remember, it's a right. Declare the NRA a terrorist organization. That's another one of his points. Then make the NRA membership a crime, thereby violating the First Amendment as well. That's what he'd be doing. Make ownership of scary rifles a felony and kill all of those who hand them in. Don't hand them in, excuse me. And then to drag Mitch McConnell and John Boehner behind a truck in a parking lot until they agree to pass the above legislation. I really don't want to give the guy's name. You can Google him. Just uh, Google progressive reporter calls for death of gun owners. Google something like that and you'll find this guy. Really don't want to give him any more credit than he's getting. It's like that, what's that guy, Piers Morgan or something? I never heard of the guy until this came up he was trying to make millions of dollars off this tragedy that happened. Anyway, we could go on and on about this. We all know what we believe. And I know we're preaching to the choir, but there are people out there that are on the edge or younger people that are coming up. And when guns and gun owners are being demonized, we have to speak up. We have to. We got half of Hollywood making videos. That's another thing I wanted to mention is Alaric. 357. I'm going to put a link down there. He's got a video out. I happen to participate in it with a lot of good gun owners out there. And we just made a video. He, he did it. He did all the editing. He did everything. It was his idea. But you've got Pete from the Armory Channel and Bomey. You've got uh, Lock and Load. You've got Rise Arms. A bunch of great guys. Mad Bad Voodoo. And we all tried to participate in this video. And like I said, I'll put a link down there for it. And it's just our answer to the Hollywood crowd. Granted, we haven't got the money they've got. We haven't got the the uh, exploitation that they get through all the channels. You know, when they talk, they act like they have brains. Uh, the politicians, they're running scared. I heard that some of the Republicans now, they don't want to uh, step up to the plate. After all these years we supported them, now they want to back down. My feelings on a politician... This is my feelings. They are a high paid welfare recipient. They don't do nothing. Four years we go, oh we're going to pass this, we're not going to pass this. Now they're going to pass this to make themselves look like they're doing something. And we all know it ain't going to do a darn bit of good. You're going to pass a law against legal gun owners? This isn't going to stop anything. We all know that. Now I'm not going to say that any of our videos are going to change any of these left wing people. You're just not going to do that. It's like trying to change a religion or uh, somebody's politics. But like I said before, there are people there out on the fence. All they're hearing is one side, so we need to get our side out. And like I said, I'll put a link to that video. Check out the guys that are on this other video and check out their channels and their videos. And another important announcement I want to make is Ebomi's having a blog tonight. I think it's about 9 o'clock. I'm 99% sure, but I'm going to put a link to that. And I'm going to put a link to his video explaining what to do. Where we can get on this blog, they're going to have Pete from the Armory Channel, 
They're going to have, of course, a Bomi. They're going to have Matt, Rise Arms, who a lot of you guys know and respect. All these guys that we deal with on a daily basis are going to be on this thing. And they're going to be taking phone calls. It's a great time for us to discuss our feelings and what to do. I think it's an awesome idea Ebomi got. And uh, like I said, I'll put a link down there. There's not a whole lot I can add to this. Uh, we all know our feelings and we just got to talk to people in a rational manner. We don't want to come out and say kill them like they're telling, they're saying to us that they want us dead because we belong to NRA and because we go to the range and enjoy a shooting sport. We don't want that. We don't want them to have us acting like they are, like animals. We want to give them rational thought and I know the NRA got a lot of heat because they didn't come right out. There was a reason for that guys. They were showing respect for the children and the six adults that were killed in that massacre by some lunatic. This guy doesn't represent us and that's what we got to get across. I'm going to get off my soapbox but please check out the links I'm going to leave there. I wanted to do a, a video opening packages and showing you what I got for Christmas because I was in the mountains I couldn't make a video but I'll save that for another time maybe later this weekend. But thanks again guys for anybody that watches this and uh, I hope you guys will stick together, do what we can. I hope you guys join the NRA. I know a lot of guys say, oh, I don't like the NRA, they're too political. This is all about politics, guys. It's all about politics. We have to have the pol political clout to stop any of these stupid laws. That gun I'm showing you, if you've been to my channel, you know that's one of my sweethearts. That will be illegal. That gun will be illegal if they get their way. And I just, you know, I couldn't imagine it. So anyway, let's all join together, watch everybody's videos, check out these two links, and this Friday, today, at 9 o'clock, check out Ebomi's blog. He's going to blog TV, I think it's called. I'm not too good with all that technical stuff, but I'll be there watching it, and maybe I'll get the chance to call in. So I'll give those links. Check them out. Thanks again, guys, all you guys that are making these awesome videos. I know we're preaching to the choir, but like I said, you may turn a couple of people over and understand. As long as we make rational videos and don't threaten anybody. That's what they're doing on their side. We don't want to do that. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate all the support we're getting. And stay tough. Stay together. Stay strong.